Hey everyone, it's me. I just want to give you a quick message before today's video starts. Some of the scores on the hard path are going to be a bit inconsistent because I decided to re-record some of the levels. I didn't like how some of the recordings turned out the first time around, so that's where the scores are going to be a bit different. The scores are going to be all over the place, but when we get to the fifth level, then everything will be back to normal. So with that being said, we return you to your regularly scheduled programming. Or something like that. Ah, I love this song. You know the game's got a really good soundtrack while you're stuck on the main menu. Greetings all, it's Blue Knight. Welcome back to Star Fox 64. Previously, we wrapped up the middle path, or the medium path rather, by crippling Andross' weapon supply in Macbeth. Today, we'll be starting the hard path by going to Sector Y, but we never found out how we can get to Sector Y and start the hard path. Well, let's rectify that right now. So we're back at the checkpoint, and let's see if I can save Falco this time, because he is needed to get to the hard path. So, but this time around, I am gonna heed Peppy's advice and boost instead of trying to go for a homing shot. Because clearly last time that didn't work out. And I was able to redeem myself very easily too, of course. So to get to the hard path, we have to fly through these little arches that we've seen. If we do that, Falco will pop up saying, well, that's just the first half of it, but if you go through all the arches, Follow me, then we'll get to that big ship that we saw flying by the first time we were at Corneria. Falco, like I said, is the to, to trick of the hard path route. If he's not around at this point, then you're unable to do that, I bet. I haven't tried it before, but that's what I'm speculating. Which doesn't take much of a genius to figure that out. And of course, Falco gets a much needed revenge from his assault early on, so everyone wins at the end. Ah, someone wants to play. Incoming enemy from the rear. Drop altitude. So now that we've gone through the other way, we'll be encountering the attack carrier. Now this boss may look very similar to you old Star Fox veterans because this guy was actually in the original game on the SNES. It's pretty much a complete rehash of a boss fight for that game. Just attack the open spots when they will open. And once you get rid of all of these missile spawners. Come on, open it. There we go. Attack the body itself. He'll try to turn around and shoot back at you before you until you kill him, so. Just keep shooting away, he's not that big of a deal. Who are you guys? We're Star Fox. You'll never defeat Andros! We're heading out. All aircraft report. You did it! I was worried for a moment. You're becoming more like your father. I'm fine. You okay over there, Fox? Now that we've got the whole team intact this time, we'll be heading into the Star on the Hard Path. Huh? And by the looks of things, like on Katina, there's a lot of commotion going on in Sector Y, so let's not waste any time and go see what's going on. Fox, we're under attack. Help us out here. I'm on my way. Good luck. So we just found ourselves in 
in the middle of a battle between the Cornerian and Andros's armies. Well, what else is new? Gonna pay for so let's just this. attack anything and everything that we see that's not one of, one of our allies. Well, then again, we're probably the last one that can save this sector anyways. Because by the looks of things, the Cornelian army just got brutalized. Serious slowdown here going on. So the backstory of Sector Y is that this area was once the site of a failed full satellite prototype that went under a nuclear meltdown and polluted this zone with this radioact radioactive fallout. Uh, the magnetic... The magnetic... magnetic yeah, the magnetic waves them, have made it very dangerous to travel through here. In fact, it's... In fact, uh, travel is not recommended to come through this sector because of the space dust that could cause Good equipment job. malfunction or just stop equipment altogether. So, more or less, this place was probably at one time more of a ship graveyard if you think about it. There's some assault there. So we've encountered a few of the mechs in this sector. Those are the Shogun Troopers. They're exclusive to Sector Y. And the part of the reason why that Cornelius has been having a, ba having a bad time trying to win this battle. There are several variations of these uh, Shogun Troopers, as we've seen. There's light blue types, there's... Uh, there's... Uh, there's shielded types that are green, and there are some red types that fly very fast. I don't think we'll be counting them on this part of the stage. Because I just put the high route. And Slippies was again trying to be a hero and failed to do so. Apparently he didn't learn from Sector X, or from Titania. It's the low- if we took the low path early on, then we would have encountered that red Shogun prototype, not prototype, Shogun Trooper, what am I saying? Best to save your bombs here so you can take out those bunch of triangle fighters. Now the requisite to get to the next part of the hard path is to get 100 hits or more, which is not that hard. In fact, getting the metal here isn't that tough either. If you're able to charge shot enemies enough and just take them, take multiple enemies down at once, frequently, then I think it's, I just saw an extra life pass by. I'm not sure how it got that to spawn, but whatever. If you're careful at charge shotting enemies frequently, then getting the prerequisite and the metal is no problem here. We're now entering all range mode to take on the boss of this invasion, so to speak. Now these are the Shogun Warriors, not the Shogun Troopers, because these guys don't have any shields, but they move pretty fast. So you'll have to be careful in placing your shots, just wait where they're going to fly and shoot at them. If you have Hyper Laser, it's no problem, they're both worth 3 bonus points each, and I just got shot during at the end of that cutscene. It's kinda cheap, but then again I have Hyper Laser, so I'm not that worried. Where is he? They're kinda tough to see in the... Yeah, if they're if they're too far, even with radar, they're kind of tough to detect. It also doesn't help because they move pretty fast as well. But once you find them, you can just easily take them out with your hyper laser. But we're not done yet. As we're now taking on the leader of this army, Shogun. Yeah, Andros is not very creative with things. What I've come to know. So this guy's got a shield unlike the two Shogun Wars that we just took out, but he moves pretty fast like his uh, minions. Just deploy the same strategies before. Try to see where he's going to fly and uh, and shoot at him when you uh, have the chance. Basically just try to read where his movements are going, or going to take him. As we see on the map, there's a uh, battleship that's coming that's coming into the center of this stage. At some point, he'll go onto the battleship and try to shoot you from there. That's actually the easiest time if, for him to or for you to shoot him. But you can take him up before he even has the chance. All in all, this boss isn't really that tough. It's just a shield you have to take out first. And as you can see, he's already on this battleship, which makes it very easy for me to take him out.
We're heading for Aquin. Report in. There you go. Your skills have improved, Fox. I guess you're good for something. Well, of course I'm good for something. I'm the leader of this team. I am the main star of this game, Falco. I'm not just good for something. I am better than you. You're supposed to be the ace pilot of the team. You're not really living up to your reputation, man. No wonder Falco's always butting head with Fox, because he knows deep down inside that Fox is better than him. It's kind of sad. But in any case, we're now going to Aquas, which, believe it or not, is one of the least popular stages in this game. Why is that? Well, we'll get more into that next time on Star Fox 64, as we continue to go on the hard path. Also, we got two bosses for the price of one in this episode, which is pretty rare this Let's Play. Until we meet again, everyone, farewell for now. Captain's Log, Stardate, March 10th, 2016. We were fortunate enough to get to Sector Y in time because the Cordelian soldiers were getting decimated. They didn't have the artillery to fight out those mechs, so we were a bit lucky to handle them in the way that we did. The Andros might be getting desperate if we had to use those machines, so things are getting serious. We'll have to be ready for anything he throws at us now. I have a feeling we'll be facing the best he has to offer. End log.